fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a good week. It's hump day and I like me a hump day. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, obliterate that subscription button, gently caress the notification bell, and when we're all said and done here, check out michaelsfishroom.com. We have a few more weeks possibly of shipping, so get your orders in while it's possibly warm enough to ship. I shipped like 14 boxes this morning. I already have five more orders to go out either Saturday or Monday, depending on the weather. And when I get some supplies in, I'm waiting on some heat packs. And I want you guys to be happy. Gift certificates will be available for Christmas and Hanukkah, folks. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. All right, guys, today's video, a little tip on how to breed guppies. Guppy breeding tips from Michael's Fish Room. So do me a favor, guys. Go ahead, grab a beverage and a snack. I don't care what it is. In the comments, let me know, though, because, you know, I'm a fat guy. I like to talk about food and read about food. And uh, when we come back, guppy tips from Michael's Fish Room. Thanks, guys. See you in a little while. Bye-bye. All right, fishy folks. Guppy breeding tips by Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Now, keep in mind, I am just a handsome, dumb guy with a sweet beard and a camera. I do have a fairly successful website where I sell, I don't know, a couple of orders a week at least of guppies and plecos. Um, so yeah, I kind of know a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, here is a Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaic female I put in here to start another colony. And it's pretty simple. There's a sponge filter, a crap ton of moss for the fry to hide in, and then there's fry. There's also some floating plants you can see up on the top. The only thing I don't have on this tank which I need is if you see the overflow right there, the standpipe, um, I should have mesh on that or some sort of filter to make sure the fry don't go down the drain. That being said, uh, you can see in the back we had some fry today. I counted about 18. Now they're moving, so you know, I was like one, two, three, 37. And I averaged it out to 18. But So here's what I do in my fish room. For the popular breeds that I definitely don't want to lose if I lose a tank, like these Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics, notice how the tank is labeled. I took a female and I put her in this tank with a poop ton of moss and a sponge filter and I fed like normal. And it gets the normal water changes, approximately 10-ish percent per day automatically while I sleep. Water change Wednesday is really every day. And uh, so I dropped her in here about a week ago and boom, today we had fry. There were no fry this morning, but boom, while I was sleeping, fry. Drinking game, how many times can Michael say boom in a video? Boom, Michael's fish room. And that's it. Now, I'm gonna let these babies grow up and in here, and then this will become basically a second tank of Dumbo rainbow dragon mosaic guppies these are the guys that won first place of the keystone clash i mean look at that female that's the female she is spectacular her tail is fantastic her dorsal fin is fantastic she's got the rainbow in the tail i mean she's pretty pretty if you know what i'm saying uh now this tank i will feed uh for now i'll feed the mama regular you know flake food or what have you and I'll probably uh, use my fancy grinder, as well as I love the um, North Fin Fry Food, which is 100% kelp. And of course, I get that at supercichlids.com. Use promo code SHIP for free at supercichlids.com. And uh, I'm gonna let these guppies grow up in here, and then probably, I mean, if it was warmer weather, I would say in two months they'd be sellable size. But in two months, we're going to be the dead of winter. So we're going to let these guys grow up and be healthy and be done. And I'll leave the female in here, let her drop at least one more batch. Then I'll put her back in the main tank and I'll drop another female in here. The other thing to note when you do this, especially if you have the space, is this tank is on the second shelf close to the heater. The other tank is 
over here on the bottom shelf, not close to the heater. So that should give me a different mix of boys and girls, as well as, God forbid something happens to this set of tanks, let's say I spill something or there's an accident, I won't lose, you know, if the tank was next to it, I could lose both tanks at once. So it's just a little security, if you will. While we're here, we're gonna take a look at some Plecos eating some French cut green beans. Okay, so that's the Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. Now I have a couple different tanks, a couple different strains where I've done this. I have the Cobras. These happen to be next to each other, but these are the female Cobras, two different tanks of females, and the males are over here with the other males. And then I had the same thing with the um, black panda guppies down here. I've since moved all the fry back to one tank uh, because I was running low on fry and I wanted to get them all growing the same. So there we go. Uh, actually, that's not true. I needed a tank for a pleco, I think. So not a pleco, a betta. All right, I digress. Guppy breeding tips from Michael's Fish Room. We'll go over it one more time. I like to use a 20 high. That's my preferred tank size. You can use a 10, you can use a 20 long, you can use anything bigger, but I like the 20 high. Sponge filter. I love sponge filters. They're cheap, they're efficient, they do a great job holding beneficial bacteria. Place for the guppy mama and fry to hide. This is Java Moss. Now this was Java Moss I bought from a very reputable dealer, uh, somebody who I've done business before, who I will do business with again. Unfortunately, we had a little cold snap when it was shipped and I'm trying to grow the moss back, I'm trying to bring it back by. You can see there's still a lot of brown. It's not really floating, but you can see all the bright green. That's all new growth. The benefit of having moss like this, not only can the guppy babies and mamas hide, but the guppy babies can eat off the microorganisms and microfilm that's on said java moss. I almost forgot what it was called. And uh, graze all day and grow nice and fat and happy like me. So, the things you need, easy things you need to breed guppies. I'll say it one more time. I like a 20 high. I like a sponge filter. I like java moss and lots of water changes. And uh, by lots of water changes, I just mean if you're going to overfeed the tank to make your guppies grow fast, you're going to have to feed your, you're going to have to change your water more often. Pretty simple. So again, that's how I breed guppies. Whether you decide to use my method or use somebody else's method, that's up to you. But this is how I do it and it is successful for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. A quick tip on how to breed guppies from Michael at Michael's Fish Room. Don't forget to check out the website. If you haven't subscribed already by watching this video, then you're probably not going to, so hit the bricks. Hope everyone has a great day, and uh, we'll see you on Fry Fry Friday. Peace out, yo! Fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday to you. Oh my gosh. Chewy just bit me. My hand was in his tank. He just bit me. I have to start over. He didn't bite me. He kind of nudged me. Because if he bit me, I'm sure it would hurt. Because he did bite me one time before. And it kind of hurt. All right. Let's start over. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy, happy... fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday to you guys do me a favor before we get started just annihilate that subscription bell Boop. the notification bell it's not a subscription bell holy Jesus Chewy what's going on I gotta get my head in the game Chewy you're a good-looking fish Chewy fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday to you guys before I get started with today's video do me a favor just if you haven't already should probably stop tripping on my words here we go again 
Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday to you. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor, if I haven't done so already, just obliterate that subscription button. And when you're done with that, if you haven't already, and already, and for the love of Pete. Who's Pete? That's a stupid saying. All right, 